you've got three kids now and like I, I was wondering what is it like having like a, a third edition does it like do, do things just get crazy and like much more unmanageable or is it actually easier you know i think we're we're fortunately at a spot now where our our oldest is almost 6 she's getting more helpful and our youngest is very very chill and i think that's because since she was born you know she's had to deal with two other siblings and our our, uh, our little boy he's he's something else in terms of just he's always been the wild card uh and so he's used to just having her or excuse me she's used to having him just always into something always causing trouble and so she just kind of like goes with the flow and she's she's been a good sleeper she's honestly been a better sleeper than her brother even when she was you know three or four months old we were still probably getting up more often with him than her so it uh, it hasn't been that much of a transition i'm not sure how it would have been you know, if we would have had two pretty calm kids to get started with and then throw the third one in, that was uh, a bit more chaotic. Uh, but for us, it's, it's been, my, my wife's great. She, uh, you know, she, she's not afraid to, she's a night, we balance each other out really well. I think that's the, that's the key is, you know, sometimes it can be, it can be tough functioning, especially running a business from the house. Um, but she does a great job of, of taking pressure off of me. And um, she's, she's fortunate enough to be able to stay home with them. So, um, being able to give them that direct, you know, that direct time every day and run them around a little bit when necessary. And so it's, it's been great. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's, it's fantastic. I think it's very difficult to like almost quantify, uh, how, what's the right way to say it? Like how, I guess, powerful, how important, um, and life-changing it is, uh, for, for parents to be actually, uh, based at home. Uh, when their children uh, grow up and especially at that young age, you know, like instead of uh, carting them off to like a crash or, or whatever it is, you know, like to actually have that um, oversight and that, that parents uh, figure close to them for those early years is, I, I, I think it's, it's kind of is life changing. Yeah, I, no question about it. And, you know, it's, it requires sacrifice. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we've, we made a conscious decision after, she was working when our first was born and um, after she was teaching at the time and after the, I think about, she went back after her maternity leave and uh, about three months to finish out the school year. And we just decided, you know, we were going to make some sacrifices to make this work. And um, she's, she's been home since then. So it's, it's not easy. There's definitely days where I think for both of us, we'd love to be able to maybe have a little bit more of a break once in a while, have a little bit more time for just the two of us. But at the end of the day, like we we are going to define our kids' future based off of you know our values and the things that we're teaching them, and we've we've taken it a step further this year with our oldest is now doing kind of a homeschool hybrid. So she she goes to school a couple of days a week, and then we have the curriculum all the time that if if she's not able to go because we're we're gone someplace visiting family or whatever that is, we can continue to kind of stay up with it on our own and. And then my wife takes care of a, a couple days a week of the curriculum herself. And yeah, it just comes back to, we know what's being taught and we can really see, you know, her just come alive because we're involved with that curriculum uh, day in and day out. And it also allows us to, I don't know, kind of brush up on some of our skills. There's a lot of stuff that even at, you know, five, almost six, she's being taught right now that it's like, yeah, it's, it's surprising that I actually had to kind of like think about that a little bit. So it's, it, we're excited about it and, and we can see that. And again, I don't know how the, it's different everywhere. There's different parts. There's good schools, bad schools everywhere. But, you know, for us, we kind of looked around at the the surrounding area and we just decided, you know, I think for us to take control of our kids' education is one of the best things we could possibly do to, you know, be able to to make sure that they're in a good spot going forward and and then being able to have the opportunity to introduce them to some more experiences going forward that aren't necessarily tied to the the school year, um, because that certainly creates some barriers. And, you know, I can, I can now work from anywhere. So we, we'd love to be able to just kind of build experiences into their lives. And I can work from, like I said, virtually anywhere and, and allow them to just build as many opportunities for us to, to have memories together as a family as possible.